to have everybody interview them. I had a situation where we're hiring a PA and I thought she was great. She had great experience. She seemed very friendly to me. The interview went well, but I was the only one interviewing him. And then I introduced her to the rest of the staff and, um, you know, I said goodbye and you know, I had really good vibes. And I say, so I asked one of my other PAs at the time, so what do you think of her? She goes, I don't like her. <laughs> and I go, well, why is that? She goes, did you notice how she treated um, Jane? Jane is our medical assistant. And what do you mean? You could see that she, the way that she interacted with the medical assistant, she was very um, condescending, just her personality and body. But then when she went to meet you, it was obviously, in a different role and you know I want to treat everybody the same in, in my office everybody has an important role to do it doesn't matter how many degrees you have how many years of uh, schooling you have everybody should be all treated the same treat people as like you want to be treated and so we didn't hire that person because I didn't like that and and so what I do is I make sure that I'm not the only one interviewing them I have other people interview them I have them interact with the staff and just kind of see what their body language is. You know, are they kind of faking it, just smiling, or are they, you know, you know, what what actually are are you having them? Uh, you know, what what is their kind of interaction? And so, you know, they can they can put up a brave face to you as the owner, as the, um, the one is hiring them. But you want to see how they interact with people who they may or may not know that they have a vital uh, role in determining if you're going to get the job or not. Because, you know, we like to have a really nice ecosystem, no drama ecosystem in, in mind. And we, and we really make sure that we we have that. So, you know, like I said, one negative person can really kind of rock the boat.